Okay, Cancers. Cancer, how can you go towards your north node and when the south node has so much energy next to it? Let's look at the chart. The south node has so much energy next to it and all that energy is showing up in the sixth house, which is the house of work and health. So you might have a tendency this year to want to like pay to be a workaholic, to be uh, going to doctor after doctor, being so concerned about your health, etc., etc. When it says the opposite side is to pay attention to your deep inner life, the twelfth house, the the uh, south node is over here in the sixth house which is related to work and health and the north node which is where you're supposed to be paying attention is over in the 12th house which is like hidden things in your life and hidden like your subconscious or like being aware of um, how even like philanthropy and it's like um, like just your some of the things that are just very private for you. So it, I would recommend for cancers that you go, you think about going on a retreat this year, or you think about making sure that you take time to meditate and you get in touch with your deepest values. The pl planet of surprises is absolutely at the very, very, very top of your chart. That's like called the most elevated planet. And the most elevated planet is Uranus, the planet of surprises. And so you may find yourself having a whole new sense about what your life purpose is all about. And if you're so wrapped up in being concerned about your health or your work, you might miss it. So I encourage you to make sure that you give yourself time to tap into your inner self. The planet of the planetoid Chiron is in the ninth house. You can be helping other people with their spirituality and you may need some help because where Chiron is, it's where you're good with other people but you may not be so good with yourself. So finding your spiritual path, you may need to go to a class or talk to somebody that nothing wrong in, in that. I mean, you're probably going to be great at helping other people find their spiritual path. You just may need a little help yourself. And then where you will assert yourself is over here in, it's right at the beginning of the fifth house. The fifth house is about love and creativity. So Cancer, if you're looking to find love this year, this would be a very good year for you to find love. If you're wanting your life to be more creative, you will put some energy into doing that. And um, you just maybe, if you are putting, setting aside the time to get in touch with the, the intangible things in life, you may find that you, you get in touch and then you can do something to actually live into to being the, the creative, inspired person you'd really like to be. This is a very general approach to cancer. Your individual chart is individual. I am available to talk to people about 2020 on their individual charts. If you would like to connect with me, the information is to get to my website to figure out how to do that is available in the comment in the, the text about this video. Thanks very much. Bye.